Good afternoon, everyone. New classification of Arc River storms. This would explain the latest ever and earliest ever spring on record in the exact same areas across the West Coast. Also looking at Chile, moisture patterns shifting down there. Snows in Corsica, actually snows across Europe. And the atmospheric compression event over northern Italy. And join me for LeakCon 2019 Denver, Colorado, where I am going to be speaking about this grand solar minimum. So if you don't have a chance to join us in Denver at the Marriott Tech Center, you can still stay informed, see all of the lectures through the live stream. The link's available in the description box below, as well as links to My Patriot Supply long-term food storage. And during these uncertain times, I've teamed up with My Patriot Supply long-term food storage, a nice affordable starter kit, two-week food supply, 1,500 calories per day, breakfast, lunch, and dinners, plus the four-gallon storage containers included in that. This is a good first step in getting more self-sufficient. And if you click through the Prepare with Adapt 2030 page in My Patriot Supply, you can get this starter kit for 75 bucks. Please remember there's a limit of two per household in this special offer. I'm going to start you over here on the Scripps Institute. What they're doing is reclassifying arc storms, literally how much precipitation is being slammed into the west coast of the U.S., California, Washington, Oregon. These storms are becoming so intense that they're actually reclassifying it into an exceptional new class 5 plus. Obviously there's a ramp up in the atmosphere as we see with the grand solar minimum, the jet streams moving and colliding and the intertropical convergence zone shifting. Of course we're going to see massive changes in precipitation. And just looking back in April we'll see that this year's water is at least 33 percent above normal for this date. Again the drought is over in California. It is all-time record snowpack in the Sierra Nevada mountains. And with the change in the arc storms, we're looking here at the leaf out dates, which means the early spring or the late spring. Now look at the West Coast over there. Latest ever spring on record, circled in red, Oregon, Washington, potato country. But then just directly below it, earliest spring on record, right where the arc storms are also having an effect. So we get this bunching of patterns even in the same mountain ranges and regional areas of a continent. Now moving on to Chile, obviously South America, West Coast. But look at this, moisture patterns shifting, lakes drying out, visible from Centennial 2 satellite. Right side 2016, left side 2018, you can see the amount of water disappearing in those two years. But where water is not disappearing is the Great Lakes in the United States. Oh my! The all-time record fill of all the lakes continues. Taking a look at Lake Ontario here, this is May 9th record just screaming above the averages, long-term average way down around 30. This new flood level hit 60 inches. To give you a visual representation of the Ontario fill that's going on, right side is before left side is now this lake is absolutely filled i talked to somebody in denver that was from ohio and they said lake erie is experiencing the same thing i'm going to follow up on that and bring you more about the great lakes in the next video but as we're seeing massive shifts across the continents here we go europe the difference between the 13th and the 14th how much snow cover is coming down in slovakia super late storms and then corsica not a place you would think of snow anyway but in May, over a foot in Corsica. And then we have the atmospheric compression event captured on film here in northern Italy. It's raining out feet per hour in where you can see the downpour coming out of that cloud. The areas that were hit by this rain bomb atmospheric compression event, instant flooding. And then we'll also we take a look over Rijeka, Croatia, that's seeing abnormal cold, 30 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit below normal. But look at the boundary front rolling in. There's some amazing images coming out of this cold and heat colliding in on each other over the Adriatic right there in Croatia. And to top it off, BBC yet again, climate change, global impacts, accelerating World Meteorological Organization. Super happy to claim that 2018 is the fourth warmest on record. 
I was told it would get warmer every year. So fourth, well, I'm going to ask a question or two. Graphics showing a decline in hurricane activity frequency, yet they're trying to prove the counterpoint of hurricanes are increasing due to global warming. Uh, let's see. Time to wake up. Also, I'm so happy that there are people out there challenging the BBC because carbon dioxide is the gas of life. It's what makes our plants grow. We should be challenging the mainstream media narratives that everything is amplifying due to CO2, but they never want to talk about the effects of the sun or how the sun is the driver of our climate on this planet. That is taboo, and you will be fired if you write such commentary in these mainstream media news outlets. Thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of the video. If you're interested in more information on the go, 30 minutes at a time, many Ice Age conversations, discussing these topics in greater detail, how you can protect your family, look at the timelines forward to 2023 and find your niche, your opportunity inside the danger.